Hey, what is up, guys? Long time no see, and long time no see for uh, introduction that actually made sense. So this is triple nuke on what, what map is this? Express, first in the world. Oh my God! Since people like calling out records, I could give two little shits about records or whatnot. Yep, yeah, you can tell over the break my personality has not changed whatsoever. Bit, but I'll explain why I went on a tiny little break and why I didn't upload for I think four or five days. I don't know when the last upload was. I think it was uh, Monday. And the quadcom with zombies, I have that ready. I was going to upload it on the day I recorded it, but I just felt like it would be better if I uploaded it when I came back. So on to the break. Now, let me explain this gameplay. It's a triple nuke. First one on Express. This map's a pain in the ass with an FAL. Just to tell you, this is not scuff. This is not a mod. This is not select fire. This is his fucking kill a woman when he fingers her trigger finger. I mean, he is just unbelievably fast. I only know one other person with a trigger finger this fast. They might be a little bit faster, but this is just incredible. He definitely does not have a mod. He has a five-year-old busted up Walmart controller, Tesco, whatever the hell your shit store of choice is. Uh, I think on Express, yes, on Express. He picks up the triple nuke right at the last moment, the final nuke of the triple. He goes on a five-minute first nuke, a three-minute second, and a two-minute third. The, 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 literally, he got two nukes within five minutes. So the quad nuke is without a doubt possible, and the quintuple nuke would have to be the most outrageous gameplay in history. I mean, the people would have to be standing literally still for you to get anywhere with it. This is by Chaos V. I think he's had a lot of fails, if I'm not mistaken. He's been on here quite a few times. He got the SWAT, and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the SCAR one. He likes using the queer bitch guns. I wouldn't call them queer bitch guns, but they're guns out of the ordinary. We got the M27 double nuke. We got a lot of double nukes. We got a double nuke in hardcore domination. It was a beast freaking gameplay. Unbelievable. If the game hadn't ended, he would have gone to quad nuke. There is no arguing against it. Oddly enough, the quad nuke, and I will get onto that topic on that video, which I think should go up uh, either tomorrow or the next day. I'll explain more in depth on how the quad nuke could be attainable and how it might happen if it happens at all, which I'm pretty sure there'll be at least one by the end of COD. So, why did I go on a break? I don't know, actually. I just sporadically stopped comment commentating. I got really lazy and just... Once I stopped for two days, I'm like, maybe I should just wait this out. I was going to actually commentate yesterday. No, tomorrow. But then I just figured Friday is a good day to come back. So, I enjoyed the week, the break, or whatever you call it. And I think it's a perfect time to come back. You know, Uprising just came out. The best DLC in COD history. I'm going to put it there since World of War DLC, since all the maps in World of War were great. Even the DLC ones, it'd be par a few. But let's see, we got Encore. I haven't actually played any of the multiplayer maps, so I'm not going to put my opinions on those. But the zombie map, Uprising, uh, not Uprising, uh, Mob of the Dead is truly good. The boss didn't completely ruin it like Call of the Dead. He's not really a boss, actually. He's just a big zombie. Which, in an alteration, could be called a boss. Many people address him as a boss. And there's also a secret weapon people do not know about. I saw it in a few places. I hope it's real. I saw my, my friend just mention it. My real-life friend. Yes, I have real-life friends. Well, you could call acquaintance. What not. It's a freaking secret weapon. That you have to do an Easter egg to get it. And everyone can pick it up infinitely. You get it. And it's a one-hit kill to around 30, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty exciting. I, we didn't do that. I made it to around 16. Somebody else I know made it to around 24. And then further for that... 31, the map is relatively easy once you make it to the Pack-a-Punch, which to get there, if I'm not mistaken, is from a plane. You need to build a plane, fuel it up, and ride that shit, donkey fuck that, to the uh, Pack-a-Punch. The War Machine, no, Death Machine, the Gatling Gun, Mini Gun, whatever the hell it's called, is in the box as well. You can upgrade that. I do not know how good it is upgraded. My friend had it. Jay's, he's new to zombies, so I guess he uh, died using it. Supposedly, he was super powerful, so he still died with that. The Blundergat, uh, my favorite super weapon since the Thunder Gun and Wonder Waff, or Wonder Weapon, whatever the hell you want to call it. That just ends the zombies. It can make crawlers. Upgrade, it becomes a three shot Blundergat that fires explosive monkey rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Is there even monkeys on that map? Oh, speaking of Serge Zella, this commentary was originally going to go to him, but then I thought it was a, a good idea to start on this one. Yeah, I know the people have no fucking thumbs. But you can deal with it since it's a triple nuke. And you want to reverse boost? We don't reverse boost. I don't even know how you find these lobbies with our stats. People wonder that too. I guess it's the flawed matchmaking. It does work like that. So back to Uprising. The map is gigantic. 
the afterlife mode is actually pretty cool in the way if you get down and you come back up that you can revive yourself that's exciting i don't i'm pretty sure you can't revive others which seem which would seem really cheap but i haven't completely experimented the map remember i've played it only once that quad con will go up i don't think it was the best i mean it had its moments but it truly really wasn't the best one we've done I, it, it has grief mode. I haven't played it yet. I just noticed it was grief mode. People were like, ah, the last one didn't have grief mode. This one won. So, corrected them in that statement. I don't think it's the entire map. It's a little area of the map that I don't know about. All the weapons are in the map. The AK blows. The Uzi blows. The Tommy is a freaking awesome gun. It, it doesn't have the most damage, but of course, for costing 1500 with a 50 clip off the wall, it's quite... A cool gun. I mean, the the ah, fuck the way it reloads, the way it shoots, the sound it's the sounds it makes. I almost want it into normal multiplayer. Spare the 50 clip and give it like a 30 or something. But it really just seems like an overall cool gun. Low damage, big fire rate, big 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 fucking ammo. A lot of carnage going on in that map. It's long hallways make for a. A nice way to hold trains. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it that way. I don't think it's the best map to hold trains. It reminds me of a combination between Verak, Ascension, and Doris. Verak in the sense that the map is very small, small corridors, not small in itself. It's very tight areas, of course, with a little open rooms once in a while. But the entire map overall is definitely a small incandescent area I, I just added that big word because i thought it would make it sound like i'm a smarter person and the jury's part because it has that like uh exorcism -y feel to it i don't know what the exorcism -y feel means but i'm gonna say it's uh, a horrifying feel that you just can't imagine anywhere else on earth where you would go yourself so that's what's good about it. the ascension part uh i just feel like it has that gameplay to it like it's got a s smooth flow and it can be held down very well Never mind, just bullshitting you. It doesn't feel like Ascension at all. I mean, uh, oh shit. Back, and I'm already burping in every commentary I do. If you've never noticed that I burp in every single commentary. It's good to know that I didn't lose, like, a thousand subscribers over the break I had. I've been wearing this mic down. So, we have a guest commentator after this video, which I don't know when I should put it up later or right after. It depends on when this thing gets rendered and uploaded. And speaking on the rendering and uploading part, I finally found the perfect rendering format that works beautifully. But with that comes the fact that it takes the same amount of time to render, but it actually takes longer to upload, right? I get a better internet to upload faster, and then I find a bigger rendering file to render even longer. So all oh, hell broke loose with that. We have a 99 gun streak that someone got. Oh, that's beautiful. Any The same day he got an 88 and an 86... I, you know, we could break the gun streak record if we didn't go for triples, like it was uh, an HIV disease, which I don't know what that means. But I think it's coming to a close with this commentary. Don't worry, I'm back for two commentaries a day, uh, maybe one and then a guest commentator. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to other commentators. If you're not part of the clan, but you can commentate and you're a reasonably decent commentator and know what you're talking about, you're welcome to commentate on this channel. I think it's going to be a, you know, a clan with commentator channel. If you're in the clan and you can commentate at all, it'd be welcome. You know, you don't have to be the best commentator in the world. I wasn't. Look at my first videos, and I guess I'm not the best still. I've gotten a little bit better, and the mic helps. It makes me feel more official. But look at my first freaking commentary. You improve quickly from that. I mean, the first to the second one was a lot bigger difference. I, I couldn't even talk in the first video. Because I had to script it out. Fuck scripting. You know, movies are made scripted, but the unscripted areas of a movie are always better. Like, uh, I, I do the example, but I feel like it would take longer than the video would end. So I think I got around 10 seconds left. Is that all I'm talking about? Okay, if you haven't already, it's the first time I'm ever mentioning this. Follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter. It's fear, we fear no one, no one, I think. It's at our channel page. I'm pretty sure people who have, uh, really care about us have already followed it. At the present time, I'm not, I don't run the Twitter, Rebel does, so people are like, rabies, do it, do it, uh, uh the video is over, I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe.